Hello, my name is Stephanie Stella, and I'm a first-year master's student studying reproductive biology and dairy cattle at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. Today, I will show you how to use the MetroTech device to help detect metritis in postpartum dairy cows. For more information regarding metritis, the MetroTech device, treatment options, and current research, please visit the Dairy Focus Lab website to read the full newsletter. The materials that you will need are a tall, slender cylinder that can fit the MetroTech device, water, Novasan disinfectant solution, paper towels, examination gloves, 70% alcohol solution, the MetroCheck device, and a rectal thermometer. To prepare the disinfectant solution, fill the cylinder three quarters of the way full with water, and then fill the cylinder one quarter full of Novasan solution. Place the MetroCheck device into the solution and stir. Next, dip two paper towels halfway into the Novasan solution and remove the MetroTech device. While you are approaching the cows, make sure that you do not touch the end of the MetroTech device to any of your surroundings. With the hand holding the MetroTech device, move the tail of the cow to the side so that the vulva is fully exposed. With your free hand, clean the exterior portion of the vulva with the half of the paper towel that is soaked with Novasan solution, and then dry the with the other side of the paper towel. From here, grab the MetroCheck device from the hand holding the tail and slowly insert it into the vagina of the cow at an upward 45 degree angle. You want to push the MetroCheck device all the way into the vagina until it stops. This stopping point means that you have pushed the device all the way up to the cervix of the cow. From here, you want to slowly pull the MetroCheck device outward at an upward 30 degree angle to ensure that the vaginal discharge remains in the hemisphere of the MetroCheck device. If you do not see any discharge in the hemisphere when you remove the MetroCheck device, continue to restrain the tail and reinsert the MetroCheck device into the vagina. However, this time, you will want to move the MetroCheck device to the left and to the right side of the vagina as you are pulling it outward. Once you have an adequate amount of discharge in the hemisphere of the MetroCheck device, you can then score it. The first score we do is a smell score. You want to smell the vaginal discharge while it is in the hemisphere of the MetroCheck device in order to get an accurate scoring. A smell score of zero will have no bad odor or have a slight metal smell to it. A smell score of three will have a very bad odor and smell rotten. A smell score of three means that the cow has metritis. The next score is for the content of the vaginal discharge. In order to evaluate the content, you must pour the vaginal discharge onto a paper towel to have a better view. A score of 0 means that there is no material in the discharge. A score of 1 means that there are a few flakes in the discharge. A score of 2 means that there is less than half material which is either purulent or pussy in the discharge. And then a score of 3 means that there is more than half purulent or pussy material in the vaginal discharge. A vaginal discharge score of 2 or above would indicate that the cow has metritis. At this point, we can also observe if there is blood present in the discharge for future reference. It is important to remember that metritis can be characterized in various ways depending on the days in milk. When a cow is less than 10 days in milk, we expect to observe vaginal discharge with a fetid or bad odor and no pus with a possible fever. When a cow is more than 30 days in milk, we expect to observe vaginal discharge with purulent material, but with no blood or smell. Once you are done preforming the MetroCheck, wipe out the hemisphere of the MetroCheck device and place it in the disinfectant solution before moving to the next cow. Some cows with metritis may also have a fever, so now would be the time to take the temperature of the cow. Once you are done performing MetroTrex on your herd, the MetroTrex device should be washed with water, cleaned with a 70% alcohol solution, and stored in a safe place so it is ready for future use. The MetroTrex device is an efficient and economical way to detect metritis on any dairy farm to ensure that reproductive health of your cows. Click on the link below for more detailed information regarding metritis, the MetroTrex device, treatment options, and current research on the MetroTrex device. Thank you.